Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Sullivan family. It's Friday. It's Friday at last. Actually, I say that the week's gone quite quickly, but it's been a bit of a very tiring week this week. Um, obviously, Florence, <coughs> excuse me, um, has been a bit unwell. She's much better now, thankfully. She's got a little bit of a cough still, but she is much better. Um, so there's been quite a few sleepless nights this week. And to be honest, there was quite a sleepless night last night as well. Um, partly because she was awake uh, probably about midnight, I think. So I gave her a bottle and some cowpole and um, she did eventually settle back down. <clears throat> but partly because I made the mistake of reading some comments online right before I went to bed, which was already at like midnight. <clears throat> just um, before I fed Flo. It's never a good idea because my brain doesn't work the same at that time of night as, as the rest of the day. And um, I then get into kind of an overactive um, thinking about things. So anyway, then I go to sleep thinking about comments and then I wake up thinking about them and I don't get a very good night's sleep. Anyway, whatever. Um, we have had a few <clears throat> days where we've had... Um, well, you will have seen, if you follow our channel and read our comments, you will have seen some of the comments that have been put on. Um, obviously, some people have have been blocked. But unfortunately, I know a lot of people say, you know, why, why can't you do something about it? We can't. There's not much we can do. Um, you know, we can block people. We can notify YouTube. But there isn't much that can be done, to be honest, um, other than just block them. And But then quite often people make up new accounts. And obviously there's somebody out there making videos on us um, and twisting what we say and what we do. There's not much we can do. We kind of just have to put up with it as most YouTubers do. It's not fair. It's not right. Um, there seems to be this this kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a bit of a frog in my throat this morning. There seems to be this general kind of thing that says if you put yourself in the public eye then you deserve to get these comments obviously most of us don't think like that and I know most of us don't think like that and you know most the majority of people on our channel are extremely supportive and that's why we carry on doing what we do because you know the majority of you guys are great and 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 that's all there is to it so you know we just kind of have to block and ignore the others some days, as I've spoken about before, some days it takes its toll, especially when you're tired and you've got other things going on. Um, other days you can more just like shrug it off because, you know, people in every walk of life, where regardless of whether you put yourself um, out there online or, you know, you if for wherever, wherever you are in life, every walk of life, somebody will have a problem with you. Um, I mean, before we kind of um, did YouTube, I'm saying I'm a lot again, I apologise. Before we did YouTube, before we kind of did so any social media, way back when, before we had all that sort of stuff, we used to get judged on the size of our family. You know, you're talking back when we lived in um, Oxfordshire. So we would have had seven children at the time or six or seven because Toby was born just like five months before we moved up here. So, you know, even when we only had five, we would get judged a lot. Um, and in public, people would say things to us um, out, outwardly, you know, say stuff to us in shops and supermarkets and stuff like that. Um, so it doesn't really. Yes, obviously, being online, we get it tenfold, but we would get it anyway and in every walk of life there's always somebody that's got something to say about somebody um because unfortunately there are just people like that and there's not much you can do you know you can it's like the bullies of the world isn't it and you just have to kind of have to they'll always be there they'll always be there and there isn't much other than ignoring them and blocking them and that sort of thing Somehow we never seem to properly get the upper hand on these sorts of people because as soon as you get rid of one, you get more. Um, anyway, we've always been judged on our decisions. We get judged on our parenting con constantly. Um, but at the end of the day, I know we're good parents. 
we love our children more than anything in the world and the majority of you guys know that too so I don't have anything to prove um, because our children are amazing they're fantastic and just looking at them you can see that and <clears throat> that's all there is to it <clears throat> excuse me um I think the week's just caught up with my voice anyway on a completely different note I meant to start this vlog about three hours ago and the morning's just gone away with me so it's obviously comic relief red nose day today so I didn't actually realize that until yesterday so we don't have it's normally Sainsbury's I think that sells all the um the comic relief stuff we don't have a Sainsbury's near us our nearest Sainsbury's is about half an hour away so I don't often go to Sainsbury's and I haven't really we don't always watch normal tv um because we've been we've been actually been watching uh we watch a lot of box sets but we've been watching the last of us um we've just finished watching the last of us so we don't often sit and watch normal tv so I didn't actually realize it was this Friday I was thinking it was oh I was thinking it was later on in the month. I was going to say I was thinking it was March, but it is March. I don't know where the year's going. Anyway, um, I hadn't, like, read the email from the school that said that it was... So yesterday we got the reminder saying, you know, remember to wear red. Tomorrow it's dress down day for the primary ones. I was like, oh, I've forgotten about that. So anyway, they've all gone to school with um, mostly wearing red. I couldn't find anything for the twins that was red. They've got red tights on and they've got a little bit of red in their dress. Agnes obviously has gone to school head to toe in red. Um, she wanted to wear red socks and red shoes, but she doesn't have any red socks and red shoes. So she's gone to school in her black boots, red leggings, red top, red hairband. So she's happy. Digging around in the chicken for some money to give them all as a donation this morning. And somehow... I had all the money out on the side. Everyone had their little pile of money to take in because I didn't have, um, they all had to take like 20 p a pound's worth of 20 p's each because I didn't have um, pound coins. And so I put them all out on the side and like Eva and Toby took theirs, put them in their pocket, I gave Agnes hers to put in her pocket. Leah somehow managed to lose hers from going to the, from the kitchen to the hallway. She somehow managed to lose it. I'm like, how can you lose your money from going to the kitchen, to the hallway? Getting out the door in the morning, you always think, it's fine, I've got plenty of time, but, you know, shoes, snacks, then they've got to go to the toilet. It's just every morning, it's like... But the mornings you decide to um, to start earlier and you think, right, I'm going to be really prepared this morning, I'm going to get their shoes and coats, it all goes completely smoothly and you end up standing up at school for 10 minutes. So we are kind of last-minute people out the door and we normally get to school about a minute before the bell goes. But we get there. Yesterday we got there just after the bell, but we do get there. Luckily, it's not snowing, it's not windy, it's not raining, it's not any of those things this morning, it's quite nice out there. So they've all gone to school happy because they're not in their uniform. The twins are extra happy because they've got school dinners today and it's pizza. So that's like their favourite. Um, the older ones, I think, could have worn red with their uniform if they wanted to, but they didn't, so they didn't. Um, yeah. I think... Uh, so that's why I didn't start my vlog earlier because the morning's just... I don't even know what's happened this morning. It's just gone so gone by so quick. So I've come back from school, changed Agnes's bed, done the bathroom, done the toilet, and then I thought, oh, I haven't started my vlog yet. So I am now. Anyway, it's a bit of a catch-up one anyway. So it's just kind of what's been happening this week. I've been trying to sort the hallway out this week. Um, so I just be... I've, I've spoken before about how I kind of fit all the cleaning in. And yes, it does mean that the house is kind of always in a state of half done but there's a lot of people that live in the house there's a lot of jobs to do and if I just solidly spent all my days cleaning I'd never spend any time with the kids I'd never do anything else so I think last week I didn't get that much done other than I mean every day so every day in our house um the hoovering gets done upstairs and downstairs the kitchen gets a clean a cleaned the floor gets cleaned the bathrooms get cleaned the toilets get cleaned so all of those sorts of things are done and then um hoovering at night gets done right the way through the house um so everything's always done the kitchen gets wiped down in the morning obviously the kitchen gets wiped down all day long because we're using it all day long then it gets wiped down again in the evening anti-bags all that sort of stuff so everything is constantly all the areas that are used constantly are constantly being cleaned um you know, the dining room table gets cleaned down after every single use. The floor gets hoovered, etc, etc. 
but it's the jobs like the dusting and all those sorts of, you know, the sorting things out and the pulling things out and cleaning behind them. Those are the sorts of things that don't get done on a daily basis because I just wouldn't be able to fit it all in. So the week before last, I did the lounge. And when I said did the lounge, I mean, you know, pulling everything out, cleaning all the stuff underneath on the computer desk, all my craft cupboard, pulling it all out, cleaning it, cleaning all dusting, all that sort of stuff. But because these things can, I get very bored of dusting very bored very quickly of dusting because it just especially if it's sunny because the dust is just flying everywhere and you think why am i even doing this there's dust everywhere anyway i find and also you know i've got baby ones at home there's limited time and at the moment flo's sleeping and, and joseph's just in the lounge chilling um so i'm limited to what amount of time i can spend things doing anyway because you know i've got little ones and they you know i want to play with them and do stuff with them so I can hear a van. It's probably a delivery outside. The postman. Anyway, um, so yeah, what I tend to do is, you know, half an hour every day of something that I can just fit in because it's it's better that way. So I do all my other little jobs like change the bed and <clears throat> bathroom, all the jobs that have to be done on a daily basis. I split them up during the day. Most of them I'll get done first thing in the morning because it's easier. And then I'll spend half an hour... <clears throat> normally once Flo's woken up from a nap or she's just doddering around on the floor at the moment and she'll come and sit with me so this this week I've been doing the hallway so you know half an hour stints the first Monday I did um the little ones kind of shoe cube unit sorted all that out got out shoes that didn't fit them anymore cleaned it all down because obviously it's been winter it's muddy cleaned everyone's shoes off um all that sort of stuff tuesday i did kind of sort through all the coats and the wellies and all that sort of stuff cleaned all that found some nice drawings on the walls underneath all the coats that have been done colored in radiator nice things like that um so gave that all a good scrub wednesday i did we've got a big 16 cube unit which keeps all of our like hats gloves scarves waterproofs um dance girls dance bags all that sort of stuff in it so i had a good sort through all of that stuff um tidied it all up dusted it cleaned you know it's one of those things on top ben will dump lots of stuff and you know all his kind of electrical stuff is up there and it's, i even found a new saucepan up there i don't even know why it was there but just bits you know there was stuff from the baby carrier that um he did sorting out and all that sort of stuff so i gave all that a good dust down and sort out um yesterday I did kind of the corner shoe racks, sorted all those sorts of things out. Um, and today I need to finish off the older ones, shoe racks. So I need to pull them all out. You know, things just get shoved on there every day. So I'm going to give it a good clean off. Where the shoes have been muddy, they go against the wall, the walls get muddy. So I'm just going to give all that up. And then that'll be that part of the hallway all nice and clean and tidy and finished. Everyone's shoes sorted, everyone's coat sorted, everything where it should be. And then next week I'll do the other part of the hallway and then the following week i'm going to start in the dining room because that needs a really good sort out as well so you know by the time about six weeks has come i'll be back in the lounge again but it's just the easiest way to do it i know it means that you know i mean the, it's probably dusty again in i do clean my lap my um my desk off quite a lot dust it off because it's always you know the computer screen and everything's always getting dusty but it's kind of the only way i can keep on top of everything really um otherwise you know i'd just literally be cleaning all the time so i just half an hour pockets and, and i give things a good sort out also in your mind you think if i've only got to do a half an hour stint and you really kind of you get down to it do you know what i mean you, you really kind of like right i've got half an hour 45 minutes i'm gonna you know even an hour i'm gonna really get to do this i'm gonna do that bit properly and i find that i do that bit really properly um rather than just kind of skimming over the top because i can't really be bothered um so I give it a good clean and a good sort out and you feel, you know, like you've achieved something, even though it's only small. The old me from years ago probably would have thought, oh my God, that's really minimal. But the me now that knows all the other things and it's, you know, the house is clean enough. It's There's a lot of people living on a house. It's a very dusty house. It's an old house. You know, there's lots of things going on. There's lots of bodies in it. It's going to be, it's never going to be perfect and it doesn't need to be. So, you know, as long as it's clean everyone's clean clothes are clean you know it's it's hoovered surfaces that we need to clean it's just all those little bits that get you know 
where things get dumped and stuff i try and sort through anyway <clears throat> i'm gonna go make more coffee and check in on Flo because i can't hear her so i'm assuming she's still crying oh still crying still sleeping um yeah i'm gonna go and make more coffee and then when she wakes up i'm gonna get on with the hallway Okay, so I finished doing the shoe racks. I finished that part of the hallway. So it's nice and neat and tidy. Now, I shall show you in a minute. Um, my video kind of finished a little bit. My time lapse finished a little bit abruptly because um, Florence decided she didn't want me to film anymore and pushed the tripod over. She'd had enough. She was hungry, she wanted her lunch. So um, we've done lunch and <clears throat> now I'm just waiting for the high school ones to get home so they can have some lunch and then the girls have got dance this afternoon. Um, I have got to go to the shops, Asda probably, with Joseph and Florence um, to get some shopping, obviously. And I've also got some stuff to post and something to take back for Olivia as well. Um, so I've got a few things to do this afternoon. Um, so yeah, and then the other ones will be back from school. Eva's got swimming this afternoon um, and Friday nights. We try not to fit anything in on a Friday night. Friday night is one of our nights that we don't kind of do much, to be honest, because every other night of the week is always full up. Apart from, well, I say every other night, Mondays, is normally free as well at the moment uh but yeah so sunday night i have to do the iron in saturday night is saturday night so fridays and saturdays we try not to do too much and try not to have any kind of <clears throat> extra curricular stuff if you like any classes i mean there is the odd time and there is other things but most of the time we try and keep those clear uh for just chilling out really because when you you know we're busy until like i say just chilling out obviously I either fall asleep or I do something. So I'll either be busy doing something and then fall asleep or just fall asleep. I sometimes try and watch something as well. Um, but yeah, it's nice sometimes to just sit down because normally we're, we're both busy until whatever time, you know, running, ferrying kids about or helping people with things or, you know, doing stuff that needs doing. So yeah, it's nice to just kind of chill out with everybody on a Friday night but until we get to Friday night we've got all the other bits to fit in in between so I've just put a second load of washing out third load's in fourth load's ready to go on I'll just show you my progress in the hallway it'll probably still look messy to everybody but to me it looks tidy So yeah, 
kind of I've got to be a bit quiet because Florence is asleep in a pushchair. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's tidy-ish. It won't stay that lap for long, but at least I know it's been done. And some of the shoes needed hoovering off because some of the ones down the bottom were a bit dusty because they don't all wear. Like Olivia's feet haven't grown in about four years, so she's got loads of pairs of shoes um, and obviously only one pair of feet. So <clears throat> every now and again a little bit of a dust off, but it's done and all the little bits have been dusted and cleaned, so I'm happy. Washing's on. I'm gonna go and have a look at my lists, check my bank account and wait for them to come home. Okay, so um, that went pretty quick. So the girls came home uh, for lunch and Noah obviously. Noah's gone off to the gym um, with his friend. Um, yeah, so they came home, quickly ate some lunch and then we were back in the car to get them out to dance class. Lizzie has got a deadline today of five o'clock for her second part of her course. So I've dropped her off at college to finish off her work um, and hand that in. Uh, she's got a few bits to do. She's been, she was up till about one o'clock last night doing stuff, finishing it off. So fingers crossed, she'll get all that done. She's gonna get the bus home later. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna take these guys into Asda to get some shopping. Although Joseph has just fallen asleep, which won't be fun because I've been telling him, I've been telling him all morning that we were gonna go to the shop and because you know, you all know that how much he hates leaving the house. And he was doing okay about it. He was like, yep, I'm going to come. I'm going to come to the shop. I'm going to come to the shop. And then when it came round to actually getting him ready, I said, right, we're going to get ready in a minute to go to the shop. He just had a complete meltdown. Um, but I've managed to get him to put his shoes on and his coat on and everything else. And he's been quite good and got in the car, but now he's fallen asleep. <sighs> so um, I'm going to wake him up and um, we're going to go in and get some shopping. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed he'll be okay. <laughs> We're done in Asda, aren't we, Jojo? Jojo's jo jo got a flump. So he's happy. Um, <clears throat> Florence is just about to have a snack, so she will be happy in a minute. So um, I think I'll get everything we needed. My trolley was a bit full. Um, I think was, even though I've got to go shopping on Monday, we needed food for the weekend. So um, there's lots of bread for some reason. Bread and bread rolls. I think because they're having hot dogs tonight and then we're going to have mash, sausage mash on Sunday. Um, or some of them just have mash um, and gravy and possibly chicken burgers tomorrow night weekend food so yes uh, I also grabbed Agnes some milk free dough free Easter eggs because even though Easter's like what th three weeks away I think three weeks um, I've noticed that the stock is dwindling on things and I don't want to leave it to the last minute and there'll be none and obviously the dairy free ones are the ones that are going to go first so they had <clears throat> in Asda I don't really do that many geared up towards little ones I mean they've got dairy free eggs but they're not really um what you know Agnes would eat but they do do the chocolate bunnies which are dairy free and as uh, Agnes likes the Asda chocolate as well so they had um, four for ten pounds. They're three pound fifty each, or four for ten pounds. So you are saving. Good boy, I'll get it for you in a sec. Um, you are saving a little bit of money on that. And plus, obviously, I wouldn't normally buy her four because um, they only get one from us. But they'll also get like one from Granny and Granddad, and one from Granddad. And so I kind of make sure that she's got the same amount as everybody else because they normally get about four eggs each from different people. So I don't want her to be kind of left with, because uh, not everybody buys her dairy-free ones. So yeah, I'll kind of swap yeah, out what yeah, she's yeah, been given yeah, and put a dairy-free one in for her because I don't want her to be left out. So I grabbed them while they were there. Um, so that's those ones bought. So now I've just got to buy everybody else's eggs. So I need to go back in because I didn't have enough space in my trolley. I need to go back in and get more eggs. But for now, I think it's literally time to go and pick the girls up again. Um, and then I've got a post. Actually, I just had to do a return in Asda as well. So 
um, Olivia bought something online and it doesn't fit, so I had to return it. It's so simple. You literally QR code into the machine, machine prints you out a sticker, you stick the sticker on, put it in the bin thingy, and it's done. It's so simple. It's, it's so much easier than having to, you know, I think he's bored. So anyway, he's, he's bored. Um, I'm going to go and pick the girls up and then go to the post office. <clears throat> right, so that's pretty much the day now. Um, the girls and the little ones are back at home. Ben's back from work, obviously. Uh, they are having tea. I've posted everything I needed to post. I've bought all the shopping. Um, I've returned stuff. I've done all my little jobs. Um, I've just come back out to pick... Uh, my glasses are wonky. I don't know why my glasses are wonky. Why are my glasses wonky? Anyway, um, I've just noticed they kind of look like that. Maybe I should just put my head like that. Then they don't look wonky. Um, maybe my head's wonky. Maybe that's what it is. I'm going to have to look at that. That's going to annoy me. It's probably been like that the whole video and I've not noticed. Um, so anyway, I've just come back out to pick Lizzie up from college she's not normally in on a friday but like i said she had a deadline to meet um and it's raining and i felt really bad for it having to get the bus back so i've come back out to pick her up because ben's at home so you know there's no kind of jobs that i need to be doing so i've come back out to pick her up so i'm just waiting for her to finish so i thought i'd finish the video off in the car so yeah uh just a bit of a catch-up video really today i hope you've enjoyed today's video um we've got lots going on over the weekend mother's day on sunday obviously tomorrow eve is getting a haircut tomorrow uh so i'll do some vlogging around that as well um yeah that's it there'll be more over the weekend so yeah don't forget to drop us a like subscribe if uh you're not already and we will see you in the next video